A very good evening ladies and gentlemen this is Elijah Gishoro welcome to Elijah Gishoro YouTube channel it's been a while but I'm back ladies and gentlemen to give you the hottest in sports politics relationship technology and everything else that concerns us now Manchester City has won the 2023-2024 Premier League title this comes after man uh, after Arsenal lost to Nottingham Forest 1-0 loss for Arsenal to Nottingham Forest, leaving Manchester City with four points ahead of Arsenal. And therefore, there is no way Arsenal will catch up with Manchester City, leaving Manchester City to be the winner. Now, this is the fifth time in six seasons that Manchester City is winning a Premier League title. And the third time that Manchester City is winning a Premier League title consecutively. The 20, the, 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 the match started 2020, 2021, 2020, 2023, 2023, 2024. Three times, you guys, three times. Manchester City has shown to be the greatest club in English football. Now, Manchester City is under the leadership of Pep Guardiola, cementing his leadership as the best coach in, um, in, in, in the English Premier League, so far as results are concerned, you guys. So, and nobody can argue they say nobody can argue with your results because once your results are out then not everybody has uh, just has to, to respect your results and 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 move with it man city has remained unbeaten you guys for the last so many matches let us take a round out in may 17th may wednesday man city won against real madrid 4-0 14th may sunday Manchester Manchester City won 3-0 against Everton. On 9th May, Champions League, Man City and Real drew. Leave Champions League out of the picture. Premier League, 6th May Saturday, Man City 2 leads 1. You guys. How many are we now? Let's count. 1 2 3. That May, Man City 3, West Ham United 0. Premier League. 30th May, Premier League. Man City 2, Fulham 1. The other one was uh, 16th April, Man City 3, Leicester City 1. April 8th, Southampton 1, Man City 4. Saturday 1st April, Man City 4, Liverpool 1. Hey, you guys. 11th match, Crystal Palace 0, Man City 1, Manchester City 2, Newcastle United 0. Ah, you guys, if you are betting and you're not giving Man City a direct win, uh, I don't know what you're betting. I don't do betting, but to the gamblers out there, if you're betting and you didn't put Man City, this is a team where you can just put all your investments in one match and they multiply just like that with a multiply factor of two or three, you guys. Uh-huh, let's continue. 4th February, 20, I mean 28th, uh, no, that's FA, I want to see Premier League. 25th February, Premier League, Man, Man City 4, Bournemouth 1, you guys. 18th, that is where they drew with Nottingham Forest. So, we can say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 straight wins. Straight wins on the Premier League. 11. You guys, what can you predict the match between Chelsea and Man City tomorrow? So these guys will be lifting the trophy on Sunday. I understand from the Premier League. Premier League uh, have posted, um, have already congratulated. Thank you for the incredible race uh, at Man City and Arsenal. Uh, so Man City has closed the league at 85 points. But uh, uh, of course, if they play with Chelsea... And they win that will go up to 88. Arsenal closes at number two at 81. Who cast at Arsenal, you guys? These people have never lifted the trophy since I think two or three, two or four, and they are so close this time round. But they seem to be so near yet so far. This thing is not easy, you guys. Um, 
we we congratulate the man city uh team uh we congratulate the young man Haaland who is just a powerhouse you guys i know they will be so psyched up for their match tomorrow and it will just definitely be a win as as we have seen uh in 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 these other matches so yeah there you have it um they they are four points in front of the gunners and they have had 11 consecutive wins hey you guys if you are betting and you do not do you use this this chance to make yourself wealthy i don't know what what you are doing in that your gambling career anyway uh the uh beginning this year they were at, uh, neck to neck with um arsenal in fact arsenal was in uh, in front of man city with eight points eight points you know but the reigning champions have remained unbeaten since their one zero loss in total uh for Tottenham february field uh so pep guardiola uh the team will face chelsea on sunday you know tomorrow that is tomorrow in their final game of the season where they will again lift the trophy they have retained for the third time in a row this is a very great story uh, of success um it's good seeing man city raising the trophy all the time all the time all the time and also they also in their in their name they have had also an illustrious career i know that the, the owners of the of the club are happy their fans are happy i mean everybody everybody in the, in the fraternity of uh, man city is happy you guys so we just want to congratulate the team and say thank you for the good work pep guardiola you are the coach thank you so much for the good work the fans are happy the managers are happy the coaches are happy the players are happy the sponsors are happy the world is happy the premier league is happy and uh with that i don't know can premier but they can manchester city buy cristiano cristiano should be playing for such a very great team like this one uh so i don't know you guys do do you think cristiano is uh, fit to play for man city or um he should, he should just remain in Saudi. Currently, Cristiano is the highest paid ever footballer in the world. So many billions. So I guess he decided that if he's not going to play in the league, major leagues, then he's going to do it for the money. And money has been flowing, you guys. Money has been flowing and flowing excessively thank you so much for watching this video it's your guy here elijah gishoro like comment subscribe and share throughout the whole world asante sana